Hi friends, look at this police LED flasher. Each blue and red side contains 36 LEDs and it is designed on a single layer PCB board. You can change the program by pressing this button. I have already prepared three programs. This is the second program. And now it goes to third. I have already prepared the source code, so you can add your own program as well. It uses an STM8S001J3 microcontroller, which is provided in a cheap small SO8N package. Now I'm gonna turn off the lights to show you the visual effects better. If you want to make one of these, stay tuned, I will show you how. Okay, as usual, the first step is circuit analysis. I start with the power supply unit. This power connection is used to connect the 12 volt supply to the circuit. C2 and C3 are used to reduce input voltage noises. Then the voltage is handled to the Reg1 regulator. It is used to stabilize the voltage at 9 volts. C4 and C6 also used to reduce the regulator's output noises. The output of the Reg1 is handled to a first order RC filter. I mean this uh, C5 and R28. This filter helps to reduce the noises even further because this device might be used continuously in noisy environments such as a vehicle. The best way to examine the behavior of this filter and similar is to do the measurements in practice. The 4-channel Sigland SDS1104XE oscilloscope introduced a nice board plot feature that can perform these useful calculations. Alright, Reg2 prepares a stable 5V rail to supply the stm 8 s 1 microcontroller, I mean IC1. C7 is a supplementary bypass capacitor for the IC1. IC1 MCU can be programmed using a single swing wire. It stands for Single Wire Interface Module. It is a high-speed link between the MCU and the programmer or, or debugger. This pin must be connected to the swing pin of the programmer. IC2 and IC3 are SMD and channel logic MOSFETs that are used to switch the LEDs. The gate pins of both MOSFETs have been pulled down using 4.7K resistors to avoid unwanted triggering, I mean R13 and R14. SW1 is a tactile push button that used to switch between flashing programs. R27 is a pull-up resistor and C8 reduces the possible push button debouncing noises. R1 to R26 resistors are used to limit the LED's current. In each section, I've put three LEDs in series that are connected to the 9V supply. The characteristics of the LEDs vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. Therefore, we cannot assign a fixed limiting series resistor for, for all circumstances. The maximum tolerable current of a 5mm LED is around 25mA. Therefore, any resistor value that could limit the current to somewhere around 15mA or a bit higher than a half looks sufficient because it won't affect the LED's lifetime at, and does not sig uh, significantly reduce the LED's brightness. You can examine this on a breadboard and put three sample LEDs in series. Then start from a 100 ohm resistor and increase it, and simultaneously monitor the current. In my case, I read 15 milliamp by using a 180 ohm resistor, so I selected this value. You know, whenever I design the component libraries from scratch, I actually waste my time and I can say I always make mistakes that burn me. 
ruined my day and of course PCB prototypes. Therefore, as usual, I used the pre-made Samaxis libraries for IC1, IC2, IC3, Reg1 and Reg2. These libraries are free and more importantly, they follow industrial IPC footprint standards. Moreover, if you visit the component search engine.com and search for a component such as this STM8 chip, you can download the libraries from here or order it directly on the Mauser website by clicking here. So let's wait for this page to be loaded completely. Okay, this is the Mauser website and you can see the component has been selected automatically. If we close the Mauser website, we can come back and click here and check the component in other distributors such as RS components, funnel and others. Really it's a nice tool for everyday electronics. Alright, this is the first PCB prototype which has been fabricated by the PCB Way company. I got 5 boards at the same price. I have made some modifications in the first prototype and this is the final PCB board. All components except LEDs are SMD. You're gonna solder the power supply wires directly on the PCB board. Okay, I used the SD Visual Develop IDE to write a program for the STM8 chip. It was a bit tricky in the beginning to start with. So I have configured the GPIOs and external interrupt here. This is the while loop which always check the counter value. Flashing programs start from here, program 1, program 2 and this is program 3. Now if I open the interrupts source file, I can show you how I activated the external interrupt on port B4 exactly here which uh, changes the counter value. I have provided the source code and other information. Just check the description and reference links. As you can see, I have extended the power supply wire and added a car lighter plug. Then I can use this circuit in the car. Okay friends, Bob's your uncle. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to support me by your subscription and Patreons. Also, give me a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.